the game with the Bar Level Sports Show, your midweek sports fix. Join us live every Wednesday at 12, noon with your hosts Karma and MC50. Fast-paced, dynamic, and always on point, the Bar Level Sports Show, where the action never stops. Oh, all right. We saw Paul Tierney drop, uh, just drop the ball. Crazy. So he blows the whistle. Anyway, I'm, let me read this because you, you guys should know what I want already. Paul Tierney dropped after drop ball controversy that sparked angry scenes, but ref could stand, could still stand impacts weekend's football. What? But ref could still impact weekend's football. Let's read to see what I want, what you're talking about. Unless that means he's in VAR. You get me? So he hasn't been dropped. Paul Tierney has been dropped from referee in the next round of Premier League fixtures after controversial assisting Liverpool to snatch a late winner at Nottingham Forest. The referee drew criticism after giving the Reds possession with a drop ball in the build-up to um, Nunez's last gasp winner. Liverpool defender Kayoki had gone down with a head injury following a Forest corner after appearing to clash with his own goalkeeper. Hmm. Despite the Forest having possession with Callum hudson odoi when the, ma- when the match was paused, Tierney dropped the ball back to the Liverpool goalkeeper. Within seconds, the ball was back up the other end of the pitch in the Forest net. Cue uproar around the city ground. Tierney has been punished by the Premier League for his error by not being allowed to referee a match this weekend. However, he will still be on duties as far for Arsenal clash against Brentford. Oh my God. Didn't I say that? Didn't I say he ain't going to referee a game, but he's going to be the man overseeing the game? What are you lot doing, man? What are you lot doing? You're embarrassing yourself. <laughs> fives, f- fives, right? My, my co-host who ain't here, he loved that I made the comparison to a referee being police. You can't get more than this. When policeman does wrong on the street, what do they do? They bring him back in. You're not allowed on the street anymore. Desk job, you get me, for a little while. Or, and the next thing you hear, the man, they get promoted. Or, sadly, what they do is, let's say, oh, no, let's say you work in Chelsea. The the policeman works in Chelsea. He did something fucked up in Chelsea. You get sacked from Chelsea. And then two twos, he will be a policeman in Stratford. Like, what's going on? What's going on? That's That's what's happening here. That's what's happening in here. That's th- and then you go give him our game, an important game. Oh, my God. Some gooners are not best pleased with this. That the news with one reacting saying, why do they like giving us... Po- I don't know why. I don't know why. Don't know why. Another one added, no way, man. Always there to ruin us. See what I'm saying? A third row, of course, he'll be on VAR to completely destroy us after granting Liverpool favours. Of course. You ain't going to let him be on the field because you know he'll get it. But if he's out there, the man in the middle will get it. The man in the middle will get it. He can still do his fuckeries and not... That's 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 killed it, bruv. That's killed it. If we don't if we don't treat Brentford like Sheffield United, it will be down to him fucking us over. And another and another commented slap on the wrist. It ain't a slap on the wrist. Damn near a fucking promotion, bruv. Damn near a fucking promotion. Because VAR ain't going nowhere. VAR will be here long before the referee on the field is. I'm telling you, know that. Know that. It might not be in my lifetime, but best believe VAR will be here long before the men in the middle will be. You get me? That's a promotion man got. There is no suggestion that TNE would deliberately influence the result at Arsenal. Oh, no. Oh, no. He did it. He did it at the other game, though. You get me? He did it at the Liverpool game, didn't he? Influenced that. Gave them the ball when it weren't their ball. You get me? It's ridiculous. You know what I mean? And if you watch the video, his fourth official is trying to tell him. You can see him. He's pressing his thing. He's not He's not listening. He's not listening to him. You know what I mean? And then that fourth official is getting getting shouted at by all the forest all the forest bench. And then even he goes, you can see him going, like, I, I tried to tell him. So it ain't the fourth official fought once, once. You can say, God damn it, it ain't a referee's fault. And it's that. The Prem will make history this weekend with Sonny saying, get what? 
with Sonny Singh-Gill set to become the first British South Asian to referee a game. Well done. Uzi referee and Gill has been appointed to oversee Crystal Palace versus Luton. Well done. Luton's always getting the new referees <laughs> on Saturday, the 19th. And on Saturday, 19 years after his father, John Nilsling became the first EFL ref to wear a turban when he took charge of Bristol Rovers versus Burnley in August 2004. Salute to that brother right there, man. And your pups. You're leading the line. Get me keeping it funky. I like that. That's good. But this is ridiculous, bruv. Why has he got our game? He shouldn't get no one's game. What they normally do is they demote these men down to the championship so the championship can get effed over. That's wrong, man. You meant to sit your backside down, go read a referee book. You know what I mean? Or go watch some games where referees know what they're doing. How about that? You're going to give the man far so man can make them kind of important calls there. That's insane. VAR makes the more important calls. You know that, right? That's insane. And you give it to this clown. I don't care what he does. You hear me? Come Saturday. I don't care if he gives us penalties. and da, da, da. He should not be there. He should not be there. He's a full clown, bruv. And you got the cheek to share a name with a bad man like Tierney. Bad man. You hear me? This waste, man. Waste referee right here. Let me know what you guys are saying down in the comments, people, because this here is an embarrassment. More of so of an embarrassment than they're going to give it to us. That's a joke, man. I can't believe that. I want. I was really looking to see who. I wonder what game they're going to give it. And I knew it would be VAR. Man got dropped to VAR. How you get dropped to VAR? I meant to go get dropped. Sit down. Jolting. Let me know what you guys are talking about down below, guys. But, um... Next up, we're going to be talking about Sheffield United, comparing them to the worst teams to ever do this. God damn it. We're going to talk about that, man. Let's get it. My name is Andrew Clark, former Premiership player. This is Bar Level. What's up, people? Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel.